Hello everyone, I would like to first formally introduce myself. My name is Cedric Joseph Armandup under the program Master of Science in Psychology. My research is entitled Psychological Wellbeing and Conscientiousness Among College Teachers in Davao City. My research advisor is Dr. Mary Ann Rose C. Bartolo. The COVID-19 coronavirus has affected the way people behave and do things in many areas like working, commuting, socializing, and even in education. True enough, the pandemic has restructured the way people do things to the extent of observing health safety protocols like social distancing and quarantine. With this, the system of education is redefined by the safety protocols that pave the way to remote learning with the use of learning management systems or academic instructions and classes classes were done in an online remote environment. College teachers in higher education institutions are all forced to adapt and adjust to this new system or mode in the pandemic time, mostly during the early phase in 2020. In my research, I have incorporated two theories, namely psychological well-being by Carol Rift and five-factor theory of personality by McRae and Costa. So I have here my independent variable, psychological well-being, with its six factors, and my dependent variable here is conscientiousness with its two facets. The research aimed to determine the relationship between the two variables among college teachers in Davao City. It also aimed to explore the levels of psychological well-being and conscientiousness for college teachers. It also aimed to investigate the relationship and the prediction of PWB towards conscientiousness. I also included a multiple regression analysis between six factors of psychological well-being and two facets of conscientiousness. I have here my two null hypotheses for my study. So, my study utilizes a descriptive correlational quantitative research design. I conducted my study within 22 private and public colleges, schools, and universities in Davao City. I have utilized an open sampling method to gather my respondents, wherein I have sent survey forms to my participants via email and social media. I was able to gather a total of 180 college instructors, lecturers, professors from different public and private colleges and universities in Davao City. In my research, I have used two scales or instruments, namely Psychological Well-Being Scale by Carol Riff and Big Five Aspect Scale by B. Young, Kilty, and Peterson. For my results and findings, psychological well-being of college teachers have then shown that they possess high level, wherein personal growth is rated to be the highest with a very high descriptive rating. For conscientiousness of college teachers, it also showed that they possess high level in relation to teaching practice. Psychological well-being showed a moderate positive correlation with conscientiousness. Regression finding also indicates that psychological well-being is a significant predictor of conscientiousness. For the highlights of my multiple regression, and the findings had revealed that the factors of self-acceptance, environmental mastery, purpose in life had predicted industriousness, while only environmental mastery has predicted orderliness. Overall, only environmental mastery and self-acceptance were the strongest predictors of overall conscientiousness, hence they are considered to be strongest predictors of conscientiousness for college teachers in Davao City. And here are my conclusions and recommendations. The study asserted that when college teachers have a sense of mastery in managing their environment and accepts the multiple aspects of themselves, hence their level of diligence in the teaching practice can also be significantly improved. My main recommendations is to practice self-creativities, to maintain and regulate their level of psychological well-being, and also to incorporate co coaching sessions, educational courses, team building, to improve more the factors of self-acceptance and environmental mastery. And that will be all. Thank you so much for listening in my presentation.